was a student leader, a revolutionary founder of the modern Burma army, founding father of modern Burma. He was also father of Don Sasuki. A hundred years ago, on 13 February 1915, he was born to a family prominent heritage in central Burma. He was the youngest of six children. He attended a monastery school for his primary education. Although English was not taught at the school, he learned English so he can attend higher education institutions where English was required. At age 13, he persistently insisted to his mom to allow him to attend national school when his mother was a teacher. This demonstrated his determination on attaining the education. His academic achievement at the young age was quite astounding. At age 15, he won a scholarship through his
your support and solidarity with us. And your continued support for the promotion of democracy, human rights, democracy, federalism, and peace in world. Secondly, secondly, I'd like to request all of you, particularly our special guests, to continue to lobby the Australian government to step up their efforts for the promotion of democracy, human rights, and the emergence of a genuine democratic credit union in our country. Thirdly, I'd like to apologize to our guests and friends from not only speaking background because I'm going to talk about our national year on some particularly on some characteristics, on some spirit, on some principles and on some wish in Burmese. I really appreciate your understanding. Thank you. Hello, Nawabia. Hello, Tasama. Thank you. 
The year of the 15th, in which the Pujos birthday anniversary falls, is a very auspicious year. This is especially because it marks the 100th birthday anniversary of Mutu Amosan, the national leader and architect of independence, and the founder of the Burmese Armed Forces. Therefore, the people living within the union of Myanmar, including all the ethnic nationalities, must honor him deeply by specifically emphasizing his great contribution to the country as a way of expressing our deep appreciation and gratitude. Furthermore, approximately at the end of October or early November 2015, the general election for all the political parties will be held. Therefore, the National League for Democracy decided at the recently held half yearly meeting of the Central Executive Committee that during the year 2015, each and every township within the state of the should enthusiastically organize activities and movements of their own within the general population, making reference to the Pujot Centennial events all the year from January to the end of the year. All the people, all the people of Myanmar, including the ethnic nationalities, wish to see a peaceful and successful resolution of the armed conflict by way of face-to-face -face dialogues. One of the fundamental policies of the NLD, which it has consistently upheld, is the revision of the 2008 Constitution. This year, 2015, the NLD and the whole nation, including especially the government, have been facing multiple political challenges, which I believe we can overcome. All the group should endeavor to deal with each other with honesty, mutual respect, reconciliation and forgiveness, and not resort to force of force of arms to achieve resolution. Then only mutual trust can be built and the goal of peace can be gradually achieved. This year, 2015, I fervently pray that by using the strategy of harmony and unity, we shall overcome the challenges. Utebu, Vitran, Board of Governors, the National League for Democracy Headquarters. Thank you.
in the case of Aung San Suu Kyi, that has not been the case. Uh, and of course, uh, they uh, were different in the sense that uh, in the case of Bangladesh, uh, the liberation struggle was from a decolonised country, Pakistan, that had to break up, East, pa East Pakistan had to break away, but in your case, unfortunately, you perished before full independence. But, you know, there are some interesting similarities there. Uh, I, uh, and I guess the other clear thing that is very important is both of them were strong secularists. secularists. Uh, I was trying to overcome divisions around religion uh, and in your case around ethnicity uh, and uh, distinct uh, uh, groups within the country, language groups. I want to join with you in recognising the 100th anniversary of uh, his uh, death, sorry, his birth, uh, and uh, reflect upon the impact that surely does have in uh, Burma today. Uh, it represented the Penglong Agreement, an attempt to overcome the differences uh, around the different the, uh, ethnic groups in the country. He talked about frontier areas, but we know what they were talking about, that there be some sense of autonomy there, some rights internally, and that's what, of course, the military government has sought throughout this uh, period of uh, reign in the country to, to you know, basically destroy. Uh, we, uh, of course, uh, Fresh. 
oppression of the British and from the oppression of the Japanese into freedom. The man who set a standard for leadership that has been honoured only in the breach to this day, but a man who is a hero not just in Burma, but a man who is a hero to every international struggle for peace, for freedom and for democracy. Every individual leadership around the world looks to the leadership of uh, Bo Sun for what he did for Burma. He became the benchmark for democratic leadership. He also became the benchmark for integrity. He became the benchmark for national reconciliation. He became the benchmark for democracy. He became the benchmark for the transition from a military man to a democratic man. His loss is not just felt in Burma. His loss is felt around the world. His loss is felt not just because Burma was denied a leader who would have forged on with national reconciliation, who would have pushed ahead with democratisation, who would have built on the, the education base, the industrial base, the base of people and their intelligence to build a strong and prosperous Burma. That was lost when he, he and his colleagues were gunned down. But something else was lost. The concept of freedom, the concept of fairness, the concept of, of a democratic, democratic Burma was lost in the gunfire. The gunfire that set the, the tone for the next 60 years of brutality, the next 60 years of rule by army, the next 60 years of rule by fear. That loss is a world's loss, it is Burma's loss. It's a loss that was played out in the wars between the Burmese and the ethnic communities. It's a loss that was felt by the streets on the 8th and the 8th and 88th. It's a loss that was felt throughout the history of the succeeding 60 years. But there is a tribute to the birth of Bo Aung San. And that tribute is the spirit of the Burmese people. The spirit of democracy, the spirit that never lay down and succumbed to the bullying of the military. The spirit that said, we will be a free democracy. And the tribute to that spirit is that today Burma sits closer to democracy than ever before. It sits on the edge with a referendum that will happen later this year that may move the worst of the uh, Constitution, 2008 Constitution, one step closer to a genuine democratic constitution. There is peace talks between most of the ethnic groups and the Burmese military. A step forward, a tribute to the Burmese people, a tribute to the spirit of Bo Aung San. And there is real hope that the election in later this year will look like a genuine democratic election and will produce a government that genuinely cares about the people of Burma. It is on a knife edge. It is the spirit of Bo Aung San that talks to all of us. People like Laurie Ferguson and Suicide Benjamin, people like myself, people who care about democracy around the world, who cannot let go now, who cannot turn their back on Burma, but remain committed to a free, democratic and multi-ethnic nation that produces once again that wealth, that sense of well-being, that sense of, of, of belonging to a nation that Bo Aung San so believed in. A lot has happened in the hundred years since Bo Aung San was born. Burma became free from the British and the Japanese. But Burma lost so much for 60 years. Let us hope that the next hundred years fulfills the dream of Bo Aung San, fulfills the dream of Do Aung San Suu Kyi, fulfills the dream of all of you and of everybody in Burma who cares about democracy. Let us hope that this is a century of true democracy and true peace. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Junpei. Yeah. I'd like to um, invite Kuzo Nai Wen to read a message from um, Member of Parliament Veda Domino, DNSW Minister for Citizenship and Community. Oh, 
Closing the Gap uh, report. Um, 12 years ago, I, I worked in Canberra, Department of Education and Science and Training. At that time, the Honorable Julie Bishop was the minister at that time. Um, I used to work in the area where we prepare education report, a national report to the Parliament House. So uh, I do understand closing the gap between the indigenous and the mainstream Australian. You know, um, also, if you Please um, allow me to speak Burmese and also English at the same time. And I do um, like to um, acknowledge uh, the, or the president of the, um, the Honorable uh, Laurie Parkinson. Um, I remember last year we do have um, a constitutional workshop at Parliament House on um, constitutional reform in Burma. If, so thank you for your support at that time. But also I do like to acknowledge the president of um, the Honorable John Kay, a very strong supporter um, for a long time. And I also I realize that um, the Honorable Susan Benjamin is not here, but I just like to um, acknowledge your presence as well. Thank you. Um, we invited the, um, the Honorable Victor Dominello, Dominello um, Nisawi Minister for Citizenship and Communities. But due to his um, long standing commitment, he was unable to attend here today. But he liked to, he has passed on his messages to the, to the event tonight. Before I read that in English, I just want to translate that a little bit in Burmese. Um, that is. Dinero akana wemyam akana wago agulu mesi pobi ada tu, jono jisi ni aite mare. Ah, jono malanya tu malalanya ni tu, jono kau ni pan. Ah, dini awal bojo awal solusi. Oh, ing Britisha koloni lek lek ama lumba la biro Jepang tu Jepang tu pasi tu lah yang kau senang kerja dia pan. Ah. ก็มาทายด้วยตัวเราไปตัวเราจะแก้ไปไหมเลยตัวทาร์เก็ตตัวที่มีต้องสนใจตัวอย่างมุ่งหนึ่งก็เสร็จแต่สองตัวเราตั
scholarship received 50 permits candidate studying in Australia this year. And also, Australian undergraduates can study and work in Burma from this year under the new Colombo plan. With development assistance estimated to reach 90 million in 2014 and 15, Australia is focusing its aid on education, health, real development, peace building, and governance. And I'm very pleased to see that a number of Australian businesses are increasing their presence in Burma. Six Australia opened an office in Rangoon in 2013. I'm sure General Aung legacy will live on for a generation as younger Burmese learn about his struggle for democracy, values which we share here in Australia. Thank you very much. Thank you, Kuzo Naiwen. Um, Jinoru Ku Karnasi is in about to say, yeah. ตัวเราเนี่ยควรจะกูจะเลยยังนี่ก็จะเราดูดาคอนเสิร์ตจีบูจอนสันเนี่ยนี่ที่อาบีวันนี้ขึ้นมาคุณพี่สกัดพี่
ဒီတိရှာလင်းနက်လန်းနက်တွေကိုဆက်လန်းနက်ကိုကြုံတော့မတိုင်တယ်ဘူးဂျပန်ဖက်စီတွေကိုကြုံတော့မတိုင်တယ
Bigo to the Quak Yayu ni Dain ga alo ne tu E tu pu amnya to the Quak Kamiren ni Kamiren ni ta Yen yen jen jen Pu ma kwe tai ka pye Ne nai bo Dain yu yi du kwe ye ne Go ba pya ran cha dwe bo Go zi ti Te u na tu Pya na na le tu Yo ti le sa mu ne tu Pya lo yo re Ta kwe a le sa mu ne pu ne Me bo ay la Sana ye ne me Pya lo sa ju Who do you want to do? Do you want to do it? Do you want to do it? 
di India kan lebih lagi menengah semak lorong lorong yang lagi lorong jadi dia sangat jauh dia naik hantu lagi ah datang ko ya sekitar dua puluh lima parti dalam ni LDC list di beberapa country bajau ni beri ucap ni dah tanya saya juga ni beri ya list di beberapa country dah meja mana di list di beberapa Kami sudah cuba cuba, anda tujuh juta tu sahaja membiayai dia. Belakang dia ni ada akun ni, dan dia susu kat juga ni. Ok ni, dia ni tak silum ni ada semua. Orang cakap dia ni lori, kan? Di mana? Syarikat ni ada macam mana? Ya kan? Juta yang dia buka cawe, dan dia buka ye binai mana? Dan dia buka ye yama? Jono tu silum juga, pasal orang yari. Mau tak macam dia ni? Dan dia macam belom ni baru. Belom mana? Belom mana saya nak sesuatu dalam kamu? Belom mana saya nak sesuatu yang dia nak kamu? Tahu lah. Mau tak macam dia ni? Tahu lah. Nana tu pilih pilih mana? Ludo yang tak ada juga lah. Belom mana ni? Tahu lah. Mau ni cuma dia ni boleh dia ni juga. Boleh dia ni juga. Nak boleh dia lagi. Tiada pelu, guru asal itu malu. Tanya tu, guru tu apa dia? Jumpa tu, pelu mana dia? Tanya mana mau bu? Tiada, tak kaji. Kalau baca Osman, senarai di mungkin sejak juga ada, di sejak ada ada alat apa kita mana? Jenol, pelu di mungkin sejak ada mana mau bu? Jenol ni 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 ni, ni mana? Lom ni mana? Jenarai tu, di ko jenol tu, baca kita mui tak ni mana? Ni 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 ni, tak ni mana? Tanya dia. Jono dok am aku buat show dengan aku. Asal mana p, p yang p ni sekarang lagi sekarang. Dah aku kemana juga. Jono dok ni je, kau ni je, ni je. Tapi sahaja ni dia jono muka kau ni, muka kau mana ni yang aku cuma yang ni. Dah aku dah lupa kita. Am aku pada asal mana. Kau kat yang aku kau. Kita mak kau masih ada. Nane. Jono kalau ni kau yang sekarang kau nak kau yang. Tunggal tu mana? Muka muka mana? Isi aja je di bintang ni. Kami ada jenol tu ni. Kami ada kan? Nada jala. Yo bang.
Frau Wiefenden. Bonjour. 
，也是嘛，累啊嘛，就是。我叫你，对我讲谁的？讲你，买来听听。我再送一个谁的？爷爷爷爷，你啥子嘛的呢？偏偏买买，有有吃着，刚上海在那里讲。朋友的啊，这马路你买那个哪里啊？爷爷嘛，免洗你嘛。家长呢，不麻烦，不麻烦嘛个，不怕。
얘기 안 했어 저거 아 저리 들어 나 가끔 그런 말이라고 들어 괜히 말해 음식을 쓰고 아니 사람 쓰고 안해 정말 쓰고 안해 나 괜히 가만 안 봐야 해 말해 뭐 보자 비정상의 뜻이 달라 마시 아저씨 있으니 달라 말해 했으니까 괜히 말해 너무 귀하고 마시 아저씨 귀나 많이 먹어 더리로 이 우리의 집 안에서 내리라 나 슬라고 이제 왔지마 슬라고 슬라고 편이나 가라 근데 아 젊은 내가 안할수 있으니까 지수는 이래 아까운 이래 나 대기고 요새는 또 내리 때 다음에 저는 그거 알아 대기야 알아 대기야 알아 대기야 알아 대기야 알아 대기야 알아 대기야 알아 